All right, well, the first thing, I mean, it's been adventures in the portal ever since it started coming around, and it seems like you guys have done quite well. I know you sent out the release recently, but I mean, you bring in some scoring, you bring in some size, and oh, by the way, you have some pretty darn good players coming back. How do you describe, A, how well your staff did there, and just some of the players that you were able to add to an already good team? No, I think it starts with what you just said. The staff did a great job. We were uh, very, very uh, focused on the right people, number one, because the core kids we have uh, that were the core of our success last year, that's what we had to build on. But we wanted experience, we wanted talent, we wanted kids that wanted to be here. Um, you know, we wanted some skill sets. Uh, we wanted to find someone that could give us some depth in the post. And uh, to my staff's credit, uh, you know, we, we had a very short list and we got lucky and, and for the, the kids that are coming in, fit, fit our team, fit our culture, fit uh, in a lot of ways. So uh, we're excited about them getting on campus. I think the stat was, other than Audi, the lowest three-point percentage coming back, I think is, is Kelsey and Addy at 38%. How, uh, I guess, how hard was it to build a team where it seems like pretty much anybody can shoot from deep? Uh, well, we've always tried to be a team that can really shoot it. Um, we, we talk a lot about people want shooters, we want makers. <laughs> and uh, I, I think with Audie, we wanted to surround her with as many really quality three-point shooters that we could find. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a big Matt Painter fan, and I saw what Purdue did and how they, you know, spread the court for Zach Eady and we tried to take that model. We, we, we have kids already, but we felt like we needed more length, we needed more experience. So um, hopefully uh, those numbers continue, but that's the game right now. Uh, uh, and hopefully uh, uh, the kids that come in can, can fit what we need. Do you take the analytics of that into account too? Whereas I'll give an NBA example, my favorite team, the Boston Celtics, shoot more threes than anyone else and make more threes than anyone else mm -hmm. because they say, taking high volume threes is going to lead to better offense. I mean, do, do you guys think about that at all? Obviously, when Audi is a wild card there, when you beat her. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we look at the analytics. We're not as, we're not like Alabama men's basketball, the yeah. Celtics. It's not all threes and twos. It's, we want to get the best shot we can get. But I think because of Audi um, spreading the court, having a versatility there, we want to be a great free throw shooting team. We want to be able to create offense in a lot of different ways, but um, you have to make threes. And in the women's game, um, a lot of three-point shots is what fans like. Yeah. I mean, the officials go like this, they're excited. <laughs> and I used to coach at Notre Dame, it was touchdown, we used to call it touchdown three-point Jesus, not touchdown Jesus. So like, um, there's no dunking. So like, it, it's, it's, there's a lot of things that go into it, but um, that's the way we play, it's the way we've always played. and. Uh, we've added, the biggest thing, we've added really, really good people uh, that really wanted to come. And it's nice that the first question uh, was not, how much money are you going to pay me? It was like, you know, I want to come to Iowa State. I want to be a part of this. Uh, they know what we're doing. They know the fan base. So uh, in the world we live in, I, you know, we, we can all say, it's like the, the draft. Oh, we got the guy we really, really wanted. Um, we got the four kids we really, really wanted and uh, we're looking forward to getting them on campus. How big of a win in the transfer portal? I assume, you know, going out and trying to find a post that is going to sit behind an emerging star that is Audie Crooks. How big of a win was it to get Lily in that position with what she was able to do at UMass? No, I, I think Lily was the, the piece that we really needed. Um, it's the hardest thing to find. I mean, post players are, it's like football guys are like, how do you find a defensive lineman? You're like it, it's a position that everyone wants. Uh, they're hard to find. Uh, but Lily was a kid that I think fit exactly what we needed. I think we fit what she needed and wanted. And uh, it was a really, really good combination of things. And we got on it really, really late. My staff found her, identified her, and we scrambled really hard. Literally, I was on. Uh, Disney Cruise and I'm look on a phone, hold my phone over, over a ship, hoping I didn't drop it. Talking to her and her dad, and uh, luckily the, it worked out. But she's a she's a great kid. She fits our personality. Uh, she fits our university. I think it'll be fun for our fan base. It, 
you know, she's a Polynesian kid that um, I, I think it, it's so many things that embrace what the university is about. And uh, I, I think way beyond basketball, what she's going to add to the culture of our university and our community is going to be fun. Coming into last season, there were so many unknowns, you know, uh, you know, and then Emily has it for a while and can't audio do at this level, you know, she brought up that a lot too. Yeah. And, and, and now the expectations outside of your building are going to be sky high. How would you compare the uncertainty, I guess, just in terms of prove it last season versus what oh, you've got going I, into this No, moment? I think the expectations are completely the opposite. <laughs> you know, you can't play that, oh, we're not any good card. And, um, you know, I, I, expectations are what people think you should do or could do. Yep. Well, that has, you got to show it. You got to mm -hmm. do it. And, and I think literally our four, uh, Kelsey, uh, AJ, Addie and AJ uh, and Audie sat in my office yesterday before they all left and they all talked about it and they get it, you know, and I think that's fun. I think you want, you'd rather have that than people don't care about your team. And, and if we, if it doesn't work out, then that's fine. That's okay. I mean, I, I think you'd rather have that um, going into the season. And I think, you know, when you look at what Iowa State's, where we are now as a university and football and men's basketball and women's basketball, like I've been here a long time as you guys know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I've been in a situation where there's more excitement surrounding the university and our athletic department than we are right now. Mm -hmm. And that's fun. It, it's a fun thing to be a part of. And our kids get it. I stuff with social media and don't, don't listen to the, the, the people <laughs> that badmouth you, but that's okay. But uh, our, our kids are accepting it and they're excited about we, we try to schedule hard. We're we're trying to finish our schedule, and it'll be the hardest schedule we've ever played. And uh, we're trying to do we're trying to do that because they want to do it. So hopefully they'll be fun. You mentioned obviously you've been, been coaching for a long time, and but yeah, longer than you've been alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad thing right there. Okay, <laughs> but it's you know right now. You? The, Thanks for coming, good, Bill. The Thanks. transfer portal era and what it's become over these last couple of years is this perhaps one of the most difficult things you've had to deal with in terms of hey, I got to go out and find four different players to come in here and fit the culture. No, I, fit I, everything I, we need I to think do. the you know roster management is by far the hardest thing in college sports right now. And, you know, what we've turned into is what you hope, you know, turn into is it's an all-star team. You know, let's just bring a bunch of players in here. We still, at some point, you have to have a team. Um, and that's the world we live in. And when you look at it, you know, it's, it's, it's not just us. It's every program, like men's, women's. Um, uh, it is what it is. And, and we have to, you have to adapt. But our core value has always been, and I learned this from Jamie Pollard, like we have to embrace who we are. And we are not going to apologize for what we're not. Uh, we're going to bring in kids who, number one, it's not a money-driven thing. And number two, they want to be here. And they want to be a part of our university, our fan base. And that, you know, it, th that's just the way it is. And, um, you know, th that, that might be a little old school. But uh, it, the changes are here. And, and you, can't, you can't ignore it. So we've, we've just tried to identify the right people who fit the right spots. And, and I think we did, my staff did, not me, my staff did an amazing job of identifying the right four people that fit what Iowa State's about. When you look at Hansford and Harris, those are two players that really seem to be, not only can shoot the ball, but also can defend and be at multiple positions. I mean, how much of an asset is that gonna be next season in the lineup? Yeah, all three of the guards that we got, uh, Kenzie Hare, uh, Lily Hansford, uh, Sydney Harris, the, the thing about it is that they're, they, they can play a lot of spots. They can really shoot it. And I think for us, we wanted to try and identify people that have played at a high level. I mean, Kenzie played in the NCAA tournament at Marquette. Uh, Lily went to the Elite Eight at Oregon State. Uh, Sydney played at a high level at TCU. Uh, so it wasn't just good players that were moving up and trying to find a better deal. They, they wanted to find something uh, that fit them. And so we really tried to identify a skill set, uh, people that W would come into this level and, 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 and embrace it. Uh, and then, like Connor said, the Lily uh, LT, as she likes to be called, uh, was the last piece of, we needed something in the post. And so we'll see. I mean, tonight, everyone's excited. And, uh, you know, again, it's like draft night. You know, we, every, sorry. Everyone's excited about what we got. And, uh, but we, we're, we're gonna have 12 people in our building that maybe we've never had before.
it, it, and I've been, like I said, I've, I've been here a long time, but it's the best 12 people, players, staff, collective group I've ever been a part of at Iowa State. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what, we get them all together and see if we can find a team out of it. Have you given yourself any headaches on sorting out the 200 minutes in a game yet? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you know me. Yeah, that, that's a good problem, you know. But, but I mean, again, you look at the way college sports has gone, it's like people just take players and then you fight it out. Life's about competition and the good teams earn minutes. The bad team minutes are given. And if, you, if you're like, well, it's my turn and I deserve to play, then this, this level is not for you. You got to show up. You got to compete. And you know, I like I watched again the Kansas men last year. A couple guys get hurt. They were one of the best teams in the country. And at the end of the year, like they they couldn't finish. And you know that that's part of it right now. It, it's just because of the portal, you're going to have a roster of 10, 12, 15 guys, and that means 10, 12, 15 guys compete. And that means the next year. Someone's leaving. <laughs> I mean, it just, it is what it is. And, and so if we just sit there and go, well, you're good enough, that, that, that's, you, you can't survive at the level that we're trying to compete. So hopefully we've identified, again, I keep going back to the same thing, the right people that fit Iowa State. And um, I don't think we could have done a better job. As a late arrival, let me just ask you're, one you're question good. about uh, the the cyclone tour. You know me; I'm never late. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's Coach Campbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my father. I made that oh, mistake. Sorry. I made that mistake no, once good. or twice. But no, you're um, good. just you're good. you know, kind of a two week thing. Just how much value do you guys find this to be uh, going uh, around the state and connecting? no, it's 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 one of those things that, I mean, Jamie, you know, started this, and and I think the simplest way to put it is, all these people always come to us. It's, it's our turn to come to them. And it's low key, it's, it's, if you wanna come and get an autograph, you wanna shake hands, you wanna talk, you wanna take pictures, doesn't cost you anything. We're not, we're not asking for money, first time ever. <laughs> that we're not trying to beg for money. But it, it just, it, I, I think it's been a great thing. And I, for me personally, like I get on the bus uh, next Monday morning and I'll hang out with Matt and TJ. I see TJ all the time, but <laughs> Coach Dresser, and like, you get to, for us, it's good because we get to talk. But the biggest thing is, it's our simple way of telling the fans thank you for all your time. You drive to Ames, you come to every Saturday, you come in the winter. Uh, it's our time to come to you, and hopefully, it's just a small, small token of our appreciation.